Here we go to the tail of the tape. Nana Singh for the Northeast Tigers taking on Asad Asif Khan for the Mumbai Assassins. Both fighters weighed in approximately the same weight. Huge reach advantage goes to Asad Khan from the Assassins. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. He weighed in at 57 kilograms, representing the Mumbai Assassins. It's Asad Asif Khan! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 55 kilograms, representing the Northeast Tigers. It's Nanda! Gentlemen, the referee for the fight, Sandeep. Keep head up, no holding, no low blow. Step the glove, back to the corner. Here we go, first fight of the evening in the featherweight division. Asif Khan taking on Nana Singh, the Assassins versus the Tigers. My name is Arjun Chipulkati. I'm joined by my co-commentator, Jason Solomon. Jason, this entire series has been one firecracker. It's and tonight is no lesser. Absolutely, it's been a great season so far. Really looking forward to this fight, especially the matchup between Manjit and Asha Roka. But for now, we got Asik awesome. Khan versus Nano Singh. Here we go. Round number one immediately opens up with the jab is Asif Khan. You can see the size difference. He's got the height and reach on him. If you're just joining us, Nano Singh in the blue and orange for the Northeast Tigers and Asif in the black and white for the Mumbai Assassins. Nice body shot, work the jab up top and body down low. You know, this is a must win for the Mumbai Assassins. They lost their first fight. Oh, <laughs> it's a little slip for the referee. Yeah, accidentally Asif bumped into the referee. No big problem there. Action continues. You know, it's always the same when the featherweights are fighting in the in the ring or a cage, the referee usually gets a workout. Yeah, I gotta be careful with that ring cage reference being an MMA guy. <laughs> yeah. We are in a ring boxing ring, Jason, remember. Big swings by Singh, that was a slip. Yeah, a clear slip there by Singh. And you can see Singh just wings his punches, he's putting everything into that big right hand, trying to catch Khan coming in. Khan staying more technical, more methodical, bumping that jab. Yeah, I like Khan's movement. He's got a very nice rhythm, very nice movement. Puts his, getter, puts his punches together very, very nicely. Singh now pressing forward, trying to get inside underneath those jabs. He gets a nice overhand of his own. Again, lands a good jab. That's Khan. Great action remaining in this, in this opening frame. Yeah, Khan is doing a very good job of using his distance and using his reach. He's staying on the outside. Every time Singh tries to come in, does a great job of circling out. He's using the ring very well. Singh though now needs to start cutting off that ring. He can't follow Khan because Khan is timing him coming in, landing a one-two and stepping out of the range. Yeah, he needs to stop running Khan down. He wants to cut off the ring like you said, create the angle. Because as a smaller oh. guy, oh nice. Very nicely done by Khan on top of the action here. And Singh looking to corner him. Both these fighters are gamers. Nice combination put together by Khan. Very another, nice. Yep, one, two jab, one, two straight again. Another one. Man, he's stifling Singh at this point. Yeah, his reach advantage seems to be a big challenge for Nano Singh. Not only his reach, he's a lot. You can see the confidence oozing out of him. He's not worried about his opponent here. 30 seconds remaining in round number one. Yeah, being, oh, Singh gets a nice left of his own. As Khan ducks down, trying to get out of the way, walks straight into a punch. 20 seconds remaining in the open. Oh, big right hand. Again, beautiful head movement and timing by Khan. Yeah, he's using his reach to his advantage very well here, not allowing Singh a chance to get in. Singh still trying his best to close the gap and get in underneath, but Khan too effective with his one-two striking. What a great round number one we've had. Beautiful, perfect striking by Khan. 
came in, bounced in and out of range. Let's take a look at the replay here. Beautiful right hand snuck through the guard. And, and you can see Nana Singh trying to close the distance, get in that range. But Khan just using that was a slip. He was using his range effectively, landed that jab on multiple occasions. Bob in and out, landed some great counters. Just an overall great round and what a start to this night tonight. I cannot reiterate more often. Mumbai Assassins need to win here tonight. The Northeast Tigers already won. They're up by three points. They're on the table. The Assassins are still not. Final and, and ladies and gentlemen, introducing Shout for the first time in the Super Boxing League. Log in to Shout.com. That's S-H-O-W-T dot com and shout yes or no to cheer or boo for your favorite Super Boxing League fighters or teams. Here we go, round number two immediately and Asif Khan opens up. Singh is bringing the fight to Khan. He's not backing down. Uh, he has to get in underneath yeah, Khan. No, the slip in the corner of, of Khan. So like I was saying earlier, Singh is pushing the pace. He definitely is closing the distance, trying to get within range to strike, to hit Khan, but Khan is very elusive, very effective, staying on oh, the Oh, he might have hurt him there. You can see he stumbled backwards with that combination. Again, another right hand. Man, accuracy on Khan is just ridiculous. Yeah, pinpoint precision, wow. nice one-two again down the middle. What a chin on Singh. He's eating all these punches and staying in the pocket. Yeah, he's got the heart of a champion, just saying. I think it really is that size difference and the reach. It's like when Khan is punching you, he's already a block away. Yeah, definitely. That's the main reason why Khan is winning this fight. Nano needs to improve how he attacks. He's just coming straight in and not really making any angles. Whereas Khan making nice angles, nice cuts, using the ring really well. Oh, it's that reach. He's just pumping that jab, maintaining that distance. There you go, Singh has landed a good shot there. Again, trying to come in, but it's just that reach. And Khan is doing such a good job of cutting angles, like you said, Jason. That's, he's not letting himself get cornered into, uh, you know, in the corner. He's not letting him get trapped in a corner. And Singh is just plodding forward. Yep, he needs to throw some feints, some fades, some fakes, actually, also. Move his head side to side. He's just coming straight in. And Khan is just waiting with that hammer to catch him coming in again. Yep. It's a one-two, trying to close the distance and backs away to Singh. If you just look at the difference in their movement, it's clear to see why Khan is winning this fight. Good head movement, good feet movement. He's slipping the punches, working beautiful work to the body there. Referee separates them. Singh again trying to close that distance, but it's that jab. Khan is doing such a great job keeping him at bay. Just look at that, hands down, waits beautifully. Yeah, he's baiting Singh to attack his head, and then his timing is so good, he slips the punches and then counters, and gets out of, gets Again, out of range. That's a beautiful right hand counter, but Singh is in the pocket. But you know what, these punches will accumulate over time. It's round number two, 20 seconds remaining. Two more to go. Oh, big left hand by Singh there a moment ago. Yeah, and you can also see that Khan is holding um, his punches like he's, as I, what I mean holding is not, he's throwing, not throwing his punches with maximum power. Yeah. He's just being very effective and efficient. He's not, not, not trying to knock him out, but he's being more effective, more efficient very with true. his punches. Very true, Jason. He's landing more shots, but none of these at 100% power. Whereas Singh is just winging, he's swinging for the fences, trying to take his head off. That was a beautiful combination earlier, which made uh, Singh stumble back for a moment. Just look at that, just like we saw yesterday. Good boxer lands multiple combinations. Body, body, head, five, six combination. Great job by Khan. I'm scoring the round two for him as well. I would have to agree with you on that one. He threw a lot more punches, the volume, and they landed as well. Whereas Singh, bigger punches, more shots, but yeah. Not landing as much. So points, I would definitely give it this to Khan. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, log into shout.com. Log into shout.com and shout yes or no to cheer or boo for your favorite Super Boxing League fighters or teams. Here we go, round number three. 
Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us, Asif Khan in the black and white for the Assassins and Nanao Singh in the blue and orange for the Northeast. And these boys are going at it again. My name is Arjun Chipulkati. I'm joined by Jason Solomon. Thanks, oh. Arjun. So nice, great left by Singh straight down the middle. A lot of power on those punches, but Khan still staying elusive, staying on the outside, using that distance very well, working off the jab. You know, there it is again. You know what I'd like to see is the minute they clinch, I'm, I'm looking for Singh to start throwing some body shots in that clinch. You know, let him, don't let him just separate, let him do some damage and then let him go. But try, it's very difficult for him to try to do that damage because Khan is so good at moving and so good with his defense, he's not really oh, allowing. Oh, great combination by Khan. Now these boys are going at it. But Khan needs to be careful in, these, in, the, in the pocket because Singh just is coming in with some big heat. Yeah, definitely Singh's got a lot of power in those punches. But he want, he needs to try to put together a combination. He has to stop settling for just one big power shot and put together some nice combinations. You're right. He's, he's always looking, whether it's, a, it's the left hook or the right hook, he's always looking to take his head off. And whereas Khan, the beautiful one too. But man, props to Singh. He just stood there and took it like a champ. Yeah, Singh's head didn't even flinch back. He stays right there. Oh, look at that now. Comes over the top with that right hand. Glances Asif Khan. That reach advantage is just so beneficial for Khan. Poor Singh has hardly any chance of getting up top. It's actually a huge reach advantage. He's and, got a seven inch reach advantage. And now you see, you see how he now is changing and working the body like you mentioned before. He should stick with that game plan. He should stick with trying to work the body because he's not able to reach Khan's head. Oh, uh -oh. what's this? <laughs> it almost looked like a trip. A little slip, I think they're a little sweaty. And Matt is certainly getting sweaty with the pace these two featherweights are putting on in this opening frame. What a start to our night here, and it's a highly anticipated night as we spoke about, Jason. We've got one of the biggest fights in the women's division that is going to happen here, highly awaited, highly publicized as well. Yeah, looking forward to that fight. But as of now, Khan versus Singh. Singh needs to stay in oh, the pocket. Very nice. Oh, big, big left over the top. Yeah, that's. I mean, Singh. Oh, uh, Singh look at that. Singh, fire. Come, yeah, Singh is now. I, Singh is starting to to defend himself better, and he's looking to land to the body. He's looking. A couple of times I saw him land that jab to the body. Comes over the top with that left. Right, and that's what he needs to do. I'm glad you mentioned that because he's head hunting and trying to get to catch Khan in the head or the face. But Khan's movement is too good, and he's too tall. So. If you can't reach the fighter up top, you should go down low. That yeah. forces him to drop his hands. Yeah. Then when his hands are at, boom, you go up there top. Upstairs. Great round. What a great third round. You know, I Singh rallied back for a moment there, but still Khan maintained that distance. There you go. That was the highlights of round number three. That's a nice straight left by Singh. Came over the top. He had a little success, but that was Asif. Asif Khan's range, timing, distance. Immediately, that was a slip, ladies and gentlemen. Just a great display by the Mumbai Assassin's fighter, Asif Khan. Lots of fans in attendance for the Northeast as we get ready for round number four. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where it gets interesting. Log on to shout.com and shout yes or no for your favorite Super Boxing League fighter or team. Round number four, just about to begin. Here we go, fourth and final round, and Asif again gets back, one, two, three combination. Yep, and then last punch snuck through the guard, really nice move by Yasif Khan there. Digs to the body, does sing. Sweet uppercut. These Catches fighters him. need to be careful though, about the headbutts, we've seen quite a few in the Super Boxing League so far. Yeah, they've all been intentional, except for one controversial headbutt. Uh, with the captain or former captain of yeah, the... Yeah, former captain of uh, the, the Assassins. The Mumbai Assassins. Referee separating them. There we go. Two and a half minutes remaining in this fourth and final frame. And Singh with a sense of urgency. He feels he's back on the points and looking to land. Singh's just throwing some really heavy punches right now in a hope to TKO or knock out. Khan, that's the only chance he really has right now. Khan's been putting on yeah. an awesome display. 
of boxing here tonight, and he's running away with this fight. Absolutely. It's Singh's only chance is to come in there and look for that one big bomb, which seems a little hard because of Asif's movement. Asif has just fought the perfect fight so far. Stayed on the outside, peppered his opponent with jabs and combinations. Really racked up those points. But yeah, tons of heart on Singh here. He's taken a licking, and he keeps coming. Definitely Singh still in it to win it. There, oh, nice counter. Back Singh up immediately. See. Singh, Singh very frustrated now because he knows he's trying his best to get inside. But it's so difficult with the movement with a fighter like Khan, the way he's moving. And he's also a southpaw, if you look at his stance. Oh, no, I mean, uh, Singh's a southpaw, so... Yeah. That angle, if you can create the right angle, it's very difficult for... Oh, wow! Both these fighters are swinging for the fences. But what I was saying is if you're not used to fighting... Oh, nice hook by Singh. Very nice, nice hook. Again, another, another nice hook by Singh. He's coming, making a little bit of a comeback here, but will it be too little too late? Asif now digging to the body. Less than a minute remaining in this fourth and final round. And Asif controlling the action, controlling the distance. It's not only because of his reach, it's the way he's controlling that range. He's really not letting him step in and punishing him the minute he does. Yeah, he's not letting him get in at all, giving hardly any chance to Singh here. 30 seconds remaining in the fourth and final round. Singh certainly looking frustrated. But you know what? It just takes a second to turn the tide. Yeah, but I, at this weight category, with the amount of time left and the amount of skill that we have seen with Khan's head movement, yeah. I think the chances of Nano Singh taking no, him down, knocking him out, very un and unlikely. And even more so now, less than 15 seconds remaining. Asif, oh, it's a nice left hand. Oh, another right! Both these fighters slugging it out. And what a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Before we go to the highlights, let's go down to Siddharth Kalan, who is ringside. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are live at SBL, and I've got Sonal Chauhan, who's supporting the Northeast Tigers. Ladies and gentlemen, Dele, give it up for Sonal Chauhan! Sonal, there's a big fight coming up. Asha Roka, Manjeet, Nari Shakti rules, you're a woman, and I know you're very excited about that one. Well, I'm sure you can see the excitement, excitement that I'm feeling right now. And particularly, I'm looking uh, forward to uh, seeing Asha Roka because I've, you know, I've been hearing so much about her. She's uh, young, and she's a lot of energy, and she's really aggressive. So I can't wait to see her. So, you know, women are beating the hell out of each other. And they're knockout champions. I've heard that you have beaten a lot of boys. Tell me about that one. You have heard the right news. <laughs> well, yes, I have. I think uh, beaten up quite a few. I've lost count. Uh, but I guess that's important, right? A girl has to look after herself and be strong enough. Yeah, it's all about women empowerment in SBL. But as long as you don't beat me, man, that's very important. Woo! Whoa! Okay, listen. Imagine you're a cheerleader for the Northeast Tigers. How are you going to motivate them with your cheerleading moves? Ladies and gentlemen, Sonal Chauhan, our cheerleader! Hit it! Okay, so here goes. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, it's getting hotter, it's getting meaner, and yes, one thing you want to tell the Northeast Tigers right now. Well, I want to tell the Northeast Tigers that I'm really proud of you guys. You've been doing really well, and I really want you guys to win today, so hit it hard. So let's find out what the results are. Jared, what's the news out there? We're waiting. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards, declaring the winner by unanimous decision from the Mumbai Assassins, Asad Asif Khan. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, with that win, put some Mumbai Assassins.